Hey, what's up, YouTube? How's everyone doing today? We are back with another PvP weapon review. Don't mind me, I'm just hanging out the vending machine and the power just went out, of course. I'm just hanging out here at the vending machine with my two new friends I just met, you know, so two fallen friends, you know, one of them put their coin in the vending machine behind me there and they didn't get their drink, so we're trying to fix it, but that's not the point. Today, we're going to be reviewing a brand new hand cannon that was just released inside of the Crucible, and it is the Survivor's Epitaph. I don't know how to say that correctly, but <laughs> Survivor's Epitaph, I don't even know. But if I butchered that, you know, you know me, I can't English well. This just released this season with Season of the Splicer, obviously. It can be acquired from completing Crucible matches. But anyways, let's get into the perks. So heads and heads up, we weren't able to get that good of a roll, but it is all right. We got Small Boar, Ricochet, Subsistence, Moving Target, and then a Range Masterwork. Not too, too bad. The only problem is... That is right, it is a 180 RPM, unfortunately. If you know anything about Crucible, going up against DMTs, 120s, and even 140s with a 180 is kind of rough in this current sandbox. But it is a precision frame, 180 RPM, like I mentioned, with 12 in the magazine, so it has lots of shots in the magazine, and you can get other perks to increase that size. This is its current stats right now. It has a 74 aim assist, a 14 zoom, an 83 recoil, and a 17 bounce intensity that bounces to the right. Just like Frozen Orbit, bottom dollar, you know, mainly the new Crucible weapons that have been dropping, it has a very, very large perk pool in the last two columns. As you guys seen, I got Subsistence and then Moving Target, but I would much rather a Killing Winds Kill Clip Outlaw kill clip, you know, what, something of that nature, which would be really nice. Because we can get a kill, boom, reload, extra damage, gets a 180. You know, you gotta have that extra damage to one-up the 120 users. But you can get a lot of new perks, some of which being new perks that they came out this season. Tunnel Vision being one of them, which reloading after defeating a target greatly increases target acquisition and aim down sight speed for a short duration. And then Heating Up, which final blows this weapon increase accuracy and stability while improving vertical recoil. Adrenaline Juggly, which is... Grenade, final blows, grab bonus damage, and handling for a moderate duration. Final one, Frenzy, being in combat for an extended time increases damage, handling, and reload for this weapon until you are out of combat. Okay, perks there. Don't know how good they are going to be inside of the Crucible, but I would much rather a Killing Wind kill clip roll, or an Outlaw kill clip, or something of that nature. Quick Draw would be even nice too. Even after its nerf, personally, I still I don't notice too big of a difference after the nerf, but still would be a nice roll. Especially when you can get Ricochet, you know, Arm Piecing, High Cal, you know, Hammer Forge. Full Bore should be nice for that extra range on a 180. There's a lot of combinations you can get with this Hand Cannon. It's just the one thing is it's a 180, which really blows i was hoping it was gonna be a 140 but we were still able to pull off some okay kills with this weapon let's get back into reviewing my role though but this weapon can drop from completing crucible matches whether that be you know comp control elimination rumble anything inside of the crucible it can drop from it might be able to drop from shacks too i don't know for sure though correct me in the comments if i'm wrong but from what I know, it only drops from completing Crucible matches. I was only able to get this one roll, unfortunately, so it'll have to do. But today, we're going to be pairing this up with a Retool Tail, which you guys may have seen one of my last videos on. We did a review on this, so if you haven't seen that one, go check that out. I'll put it in the top right there. And then the Air Apparent as well, which will be running on basically everything these days, just to have some fun, whatever. God Mode Heavy, the same armor, and then Top Tree Gunslinger. Now, the games are kind of scuffed. I haven't used a 180 probably since, or weapon with this recoil, I should say, since Not Forgotten way back when, so... Took me a while to get used to this weapon, so it's kind of scuffed. My shot is a little bit off than what it typically is, but we tried our best. We got some decent gameplay. Played hard against those 120s, DMTs, and stasis, you know? But we got some good gameplay at least. But anyways, I'll shut up now. Let's get into the gameplay so you guys can see how well this weapon actually performs in this sandbox. Let's get into the gameplay. Peace, peace. And this veil might be a decent map for this weapon. All right, let's see if we can get a nice game here. We had, we had, and this is a good map. Had a nice 47 to kill defeat game earlier with Nation of Beasts. Again, that's a 140, so rid of this thing. But um, we'll see what we can get here. He's gonna pretty close there. Yep, there he is. Predictable. Bro, come on now. Don't play like that. Oh my god, there's way too many people there, bro. I'm literally using a 180. And they're running open gunfights. 
Oh, they're like air apparent. Are they pushing? Oh, there's one close. Like, bro. Look at that damage from long range. Let's go. Oh, shit. Someone else here. What is this? Why do they keep pushing? Watch that. Easy clap. Get back here. Man, I'm tired of people running from gunfights. It's control, not comp. Or trials. Save you, teammate. I got you, bro. We're a good teammate. They're not gonna spawn, of course. Damn! It's literally, it probably, like... Like, on, like to be completely honest, it's probably been since, like... Luna's since I've la Luna's have not forgotten since I've last used like a 180 style RPM like with recoil pattern. It, it's been a very long time. You have uh, what the heck? I'm gonna get killed this thing. No! I think it's just unfortunately. Getting a little bit better with it, but still. It's still not great because it's a 180. Going against 120s, 40s, literally anything. Like, I'm sure my white traveler's chosen is better than this. Like, if we can get a nice, like, kill clip roll or something, that would actually be so sick. Look at that damage! 13, 18, 18, 18! Bro! One. Nice win. Welcome to Destiny chat. I mean, that was a better game than the ones we played with this thing. It is pain beyond anything you've used before, dude. There we go. Should be able to see stream now. Uh, Let's go. I thought it'd be a good map for this Yankee, though. Close range, not too many long range engagements. <laughs> oh, you got a sword. Oh, no. At least he can shoot while slowed now. Oh, they're gonna be using hand cannon this match. They're playing this aggressive. Go. Let's go. go we got there. There's a fusion rifle. We're gonna avoid that. Of that. You're the lips. You're ruining it. Ruining. Last B. Sightens. Casual. He gave it. It's actually. Oh, this other doesn't say this game isn't laggy. Oh my god. I say an average game actually. We're actually aping this guy. We have no radar. Here we go. Oh wait, I clicked one. He's not dead. They're reload, we're getting aped. Come behind me too. Oh my god. Dude, like I said, this weapon, retold tail, meta this season. Meta this season. Right below. What? Oh no! What was that? There we go. He's looking at him pre firing that. Ah. Uh, oh, well, shit. Let's go. From like, um. What's it called? Um. We're gone. We go. Let's go. Anyone else want some? Nope. Or not. He's dead though. Don't see Power play. He's right here. There we go. Easy clap. Like Damn. 180s just aren't 
great. We lost the game, unfortunately, but that was a really good game with the tank cannon, actually. Close range, 35 defeats, 3.8 KD. Very solid on this map. We had a lot of shotgun kills, but it is anomaly, so that's what you're supposed to do, shotgun ape. Um, but we have some solid kills with this weapon. This map is really good for this hand cannon because, same like Burnout, this map has close range. And um, it's a 180, so it has no range at all, so really good.